Hi everyone, Jake here and welcome to another episode of Wonder Kid to Superstar. Today's player is someone that was boosted in the winter update and after I've done this simulation, I think he's taken my spot as my favourite Wonder Kid in FM22 for a bunch of reasons, but just to highlight a few quick things that you're going to see, 10 Ballon d'Ors from this guy and over a thousand goals and we're going to show you exactly how we get that kind of output out of this man and he's, he, you'll see in a minute, he is just absolutely phenomenal. Hi everybody, Jake here for FM Scout. This is a series where we take a wonder kid in FM22, put them to the higher end of their potential range and show you what they might look like in this simulation. Now, please do stick with me in this one because you need to see everything we do with this player to get these unbelievable results that you're gonna see. But every step of this man's development is super interesting and really key to knowing just how good of a player this guy is. Before we do get into the video though, if you could drop a like if you enjoy this kind of content or if you think this guy is amazing like we do, we'd greatly appreciate it. It really does help in the video's performance. Comment down below who you'd like to see next and your rating for the player out of 10 and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And finally, if you want to, you can find my channel linked in the description. If you wanna go over there, check it out and also hit the subscribe button, I'd be very much appreciative. But here you go, straight away, let's get right into it. We are at Buy Munich and this is where you're going to find today's player. You might notice on this screen we've got Neuer, Thomas Muller, but under there we've got a hot prospect and that is winter upgraded wonder kid Gabriel Vidovic. So here's Gabriel Vidovic, he's a Croatian striker who can play also in the midfield role but I would definitely suggest in this advanced forward role. He's got a potential range of 140 to 170 but I believe you can throw that out the window, it doesn't really mean too much anyway in this player's case, of course it does but I'll explain what I mean in a few seconds. He's got a lot of pros and very few cons that he'll work his way out of. He will have a pretty pricely fee in your guy saves of around 20 million plus in that first year which I still think is worth the money when you see what we can get out of this guy. Um, physically nicely balanced, ready to build up from, nothing too special yet but he'll get a lot better. Mentally he's got a good base set but he is good with both feet, he likes to run with a ball through the centre, he likes to try tricks with the 17 flair that he has and his technical attributes are also very very good. Now my favourite thing about Vidovic is right from the off he is still a very good striker even at 17 with these attributes he is built to do very well in the match engine and he's only going to get better and become basically a match engine breaker as we get further down the line. So imagine him how he is right here, you're going to see in a few minutes just how good he can be straight from the bat right when you put him into your first team. So he is with Bayern Munich of course here which does give him an advantage, he's playing with very good players in a league where they are going to be one of the better teams for sure. But just to prove to you that this guy is so good in this simulation, I don't do anything special. I just train him in that advanced forward role. I do no additional focuses, no double intensities or nothing like that. He is going to be being mentored by some of the more experienced heads at the club, but the tactic is super basic. Just a 4-2-3-1 Gagan press preset set to positive. I've changed it from a pressing forward to an advanced forward, and then I've put a Mazala and a box-to-box -box in the midfield just because they're roles I like, and I think they'll suit Bayern Munich well. So Vidovic is here. He's going to take Lewandowski's place as a starting striker, we're going to simulate loads of years to the point where you're going to see just how good he can become. But the first stop we'll take is him after two years at the club to see just how good he can be right from the bat for your guys' sides. Okay guys, here we are, 2024, only three years on in this simulation and straight away you're going to be seeing Vidovic, most player of the matches, Vidovic, highest average match rating, Vidovic, most goals, and Vidovic, most assists. It's um very, very impressive to say the least and you're about to see just how good this guy can be. So currently, this is Vidovic in the middle of his range. He's actually 155 here currently, so you're looking right in the middle of his potential range. Physically, he is absolutely smashing it. He's out of this world and he's only gonna get better. He's still a wonder kid and even though it says no potential here just yet, that will come with time. Mentally, he's very nicely balanced for his position. Everything is what you'd want it to be. And then technically, he is outrageous, really. Dribbling, first touch, technique, passing, shooting, penalties, free kicks, long shots, corners, crossing. This guy has got it all already. Now that he's been in the team for a while as well, the coaches have had a more accurate report of him and they've given us so many pros and he's really developed out of any cons that he did have 
But this isn't the most impressive thing about Vidovic. It's not his attributes. I don't know what it is with this guy, but he is broken in the match engine, just the way that he's set up. Now, bear in mind, this is only him in the middle of his potential range currently, and he's scoring more goals in games by a long distance, hitting 8.14 average match rate in 63 goals in all comps, and the season before was nearly just as good. He was very good in that season, but my favourite one out of all of this is the first season. When he started that simulation, I did nothing to him to make him be any better. I didn't quickly boost his current ability or anything like that using the editor. We just put him in and let him play. And he still scored 22 goals and actually in all competitions scored 33 goals. So that is very, very impressive from a 17 year old. Yes, he's in a Bayern Munich side, but that doesn't guarantee you these kind of numbers. We know that for sure. And to hit them kind of numbers at 17 shows that he must just be built in a certain way that the match engine loves and he's only got better. He's not just scoring goals, he's assisting too. He's hitting some crazy levels, but you're about to see it get 10 times better as we go and view him in the prime of his career and just, just get excited because this is something that I never thought I'd see. Okay, here we are, 2031. We're about 10 years down the line from where we started the simulation and straight away you can see Vidovic is still absolutely smashing it. Before we take a look at him though, I'd just like to let you guys know, I do have my own channel, you can find it linked in the description. We've got a Let's Play series going on over there with Wolfsburg, a lot of you guys have came over and said you really enjoyed it, so if you want to come over, give it a chance, see what you think, you can never come back again if you do that, but just give it a go and see what you think of it, I'd greatly appreciate it. We also have some random one-off rebuilds with another one on the way soon, so if you like that kind of thing, um, yeah, it'd be awesome if you come check it out. But... The person we should check out, the reason you're all here, is to have a look at Gabriel Vidovic. He is now at his 170 peak. He is one of the best players in Bayern Munich's team, if not the best player in the world, near enough. And um, Physically, he is at an elite level, the same mentally and, of course, the same technically. Vidovic is just crazy good. Let's highlight the advanced forward role so you can see everything for that position. And straight away... He's blowing my mind. He looks so, so good. I think it's just the way his attributes are distributed that makes him so, so deadly. But yeah, you're looking at a player who is at an elite level attributes wise, but that is only cracking the surface of the iceberg with Vidovic. There is so much more to learn about him. And well, you're about to see it now. Let's look at his career stats at the age of 27. Bear in mind, he's still got a few years to go and I will quickly switch over in a minute to that save game where you can see what he's done in his whole career but to hit an eight average match rating is pretty much unheard of across the course of a season to do it in every single year but one since turning 21 is even more incredible considering the fact where he didn't do it was the season where it looks like he got injured for a few games didn't play so much and maybe just had an off year but still an off year for him was a goal of the game still um it's an incredible run of form that Vidovic has had here assists as well we don't even talk about his assists but he's hitting most assists in the league pretty much every single season as well with being one of the best goal scorers in world football now to be completely transparent with you in these simulations Vidovic is on penalties and that isn't just me forcing it it's because he's actually a fairly good penalty taker and one of the best at the club since Lewandowski has moved on now I don't think that completely rules out of oh he's taking penalties these numbers are completely false I wouldn't say so at all if we highlight over one of these seasons here this season he scored 56 16 of them were penalties that is a lot but that's still 40 goals in 49 games that is an incredible number. I don't think scoring penalties completely rules a player out of being good, else, you know, that, that makes no sense at all. But yeah, he is still scoring plenty of goals, even pretty much without penalties, a goal a game still. He's at such an incredible level that he's won plenty of awards. But before we check on them, let's quickly hop over to the 20, 30, whatever it is, save and see how he's got on by the end of his career. So now you should be able to see the seasons that he had after the age of 28, and they're still near enough just as good I mean he's not getting quite towards that 8 rating anymore at the age of 35 or whatever it is but you can forgive him at this point because he is still a 30 is he actually 35 yes he's 35 years old and he's still scoring pretty much a goal a game in the Bundesliga now you might see the Germany caps thing that's because I did the simulation on my laptop where the German national team isn't fixed on my laptop so we don't get to see his Germany caps but he would have definitely got Germany caps if we had fixed the German national team. But these numbers are so, so incredible. It's up there with when we did on Mokoko simulation when he first got added to the game last year in FM21's winter update. Um, Vidovic here, I don't know what it is. There's plenty of players with higher potential ability ratings, higher current abilities that would do nowhere near this good in this team, in this simulation. It's just something about Vidovic and the way that he plays. Now, milestones wise, for some reason, because the simulation has been going on so long, 
it's cleared them all out but just to prove to you that he has been winning stuff Bayern Munich have been winning the Bundesliga pretty much every year and have been doing super super well um so he's obviously been winning competitions and since the winter update the name pack that I did have in the game has gone away so I can't remember the exact name of what the Ballon d'Or is called but if we look for world golden ball or world player of the year either one of them we can see Vidovic has been winning it for how many years let's count I counted 13 maybe 14 Ballon d'Ors here which makes him one of the best players ever. Now, the reason I think this is the Ballon d'Or is because it's Lionel Messi, Lionel Messi, Ronaldo, Modric, which I believe is what happened in real life. And if we go back, we've got Cannavaro, Kaka. This is, for me, this is the Ballon d'Or, right? This has got to be. And if it's not, then it's still a pretty impressive thing to win. If we look at Golden Ball instead, he's been winning all of them as well. So it's equally as impressive there. If we go through and look at the World Team of the Year since 2024, um, I'm not going to click, else you'll hear the click every time, but Vidovic, I can tell you, has been the World Team of the Year striker since that year. So it really is just incredible what this guy's done. And I think even if he is going to cost you £20 million, for me, he has got to be a 10 out of 10 player. He is a 10 out of 10 wonder kid. Try and sign him up if you can. He's a match engine breaker. As we saw, even before even reaching that high potential, he was still scoring plenty of goals. And I imagine he'll do the same for you guys as well. He's an elite player who I absolutely love. Probably one of the best strikers I've ever seen in Football Manager. Let me know what you think down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. Check out my channel links in the description. And most of all, have a great day, everyone. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.